The orange rod in this problem has a mass m and length l. It pivots about a pin through its center as its lower end is moved back and forth by the attached spring with the spring constant k. We're asked to find the frequency of small oscillations. Those oscillations will be in the angle theta, with this direction giving us the positive direction for angular quantities. By the right-hand rule, those will be out of the screen. We'll find the frequency from this equation, the equation that all objects in simple harmonic motion follow. The second time derivative of a variable equals minus a constant squared times that variable. Here our variable is theta, so we'll obtain this using Newton's second law for rotation, summing torques and setting it equal to I alpha. We'll sum torques about the center and realize that only one force exerts a torque about that point. It's the spring force exerted on the lower end of the rod. It has a magnitude of kx and is directed to the left. The moment arm for that force is shown here. The shortest distance between the line of action and the pivot, we'll call that d. So the torque, by the right-hand rule, is in the negative direction, force times moment arm. And that equals moment of inertia for a thin rod about its center, 1 12th ml squared, times alpha, the second time derivative of the angle theta. Now on the left-hand side, we can rewrite the quantities x and d. x, the amount the spring is stretched, equals r theta, and that's L over 2 times theta. The moment arm D is L over 2 cosine of theta. For small angles, cosine of theta is approximately equal to 1. Substituting those expressions into the left-hand side, and simplifying, we notice that the length of the rod cancels, and we find this result. The second time derivative of theta equals minus 3k over m times theta. Comparing with the top equation, this means that 3k over m is the square of the angular frequency. So this is omega, and the linear frequency f is 1 over 2 pi times the square root of 3k over m.